Deus. Okay, I am making homemade pizza. It's going to be chicken, uh, bacon, and red onion. Um, everything here, my sugar water. I did make my own sauce, which is ranch. Frank's Red Hot Wings Buffalo Sauce and some Sweet Baby Ray's Barbecue Sauce. Uh, the sauce, I used very little barbecue, a lot of ranch, and in between those with the Frank's. If you're going to try this, taste it before you put it on your pizza. That way you can get the sauce exactly how you like it. I like mine a little bit more uh, Frank's than anything with the... I like my sauce a little bit more Frank's with the, the sweetness that the ranch has instead of the tangy of the barbecue, but other people might like it the other way. Um, I picked up a dough ball, 14 inch dough ball from a local pizza place here, and they didn't bother putting cornmeal or flour or anything on it, so uh, I'm kind of improvising. I have to wait for it to proof a little bit out here in the air, and then I'll be able to stretch it out to the edge of the pan and start cooking. Pre-cheese. One thing I want to point out, if you're going to make homemade pizza and it has chicken on it, don't shred your chicken before you put it on the pizza. Uh, reason being, shredded chicken is going to dry out in the oven, especially if you like your toppings on top of the cheese. Um, I'm more of a toppings under the cheese guy, which I'm doing here, so I'm going to get to that. Okay, cheese. Uh, one thing I did not mention when you're making pizza, I don't care if you're at home or at your job or whatever, put the friggin' toppings all the way out to the edge. All right, you don't center load a pizza. That's horrible pizza making. Pull your head out your ass. Put the toppings all the way out to the edge. Almost there. Just check the crust on the bottom. So I stuck it on the bottom back. It's still a little bit white, but it'll get there if I shut the door. The end pizza doesn't look bad. I think the crust is going to be just a little bit undercooked. Maybe in spots, but it's still cooking a little bit on the pan. But overall, it doesn't look horrible. Now I'll know what to do better next time I do this. Get some friggin' cornmeal and flour to begin with. <laughs>